Hey guys, welcome to another video on homeowner repair. So a funny thing happened yesterday, I was shooting a video on how to fix your sill clock outside of your house. I came inside and went to get something out of my kitchen cabinet and the door came off of my hand pretty much. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the hinge on your kitchen cabinet door. But before we get started, remember to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more cool stuff that we do on the channel. So what happened was when I went to open up my kitchen cabinet um, door, the uh, hinge came undone down here. So kind of broke in half. Uh, these screw in with Phillips screws. So I'm going to take these out first and I'll show you how to get it swapped over. So normally you would use like a Phillips screwdriver if they're Phillips screws. Uh, I happen to have like a, a Ryobi um, cordless drill. So to make it a little bit faster, I'm just going to use this and take the uh, screws right out. So once the door is removed, you can put it like on a table or something so you can work on it. So before you get started, uh, go to the hardware store and try to match up the hinge that you have. There's a million different hinges out there and this is the style that my kitchen cabinet door had on it. Uh, luckily, we repainted the cabinets not that long ago, a few years ago, and I had a couple extra hinges laying around the basement. So I'm going to swap it over to this one. So all you need to do is remove the screws on the back of the hinge. You can change the new one over and reuse the screws that you had. Again, if you have a cord that's like this, it'll make it a lot faster for you. And put the other one in and snug up the other two, they're not already seated. Alright, so then just put your cabinet door back into place and um, make sure that the holes line up for you. And you can reuse the screws as long as they're in good shape that you took out. Just kind of zap them back in. And then make sure you get the bottom one. Make sure everything lines up. Like this style with the top, catch the bottom, and then grab the two screws in the middle. So that way you know that your holes are all lined up. And then there's gonna be one more. And then you gotta catch that one. And then let's test it, make sure that everything lines up okay. So it opens and shuts as good as it did when I put it in. So it's basically all you need to do. So I hope you liked the video, and uh, if you have any questions, you'll leave us a comment or reply back to you. Thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs>